Dorsita Taylor's life has been an incredible journey. She grew up in rural Jamaica and was unable to attend school until the age of seven due to family responsibilities, so she taught herself how to read and write. She was introduced to environmental studies on a class field trip. Because here we were sitting on the banks of probably cool rural river pummeling out of the side of the mountains, and we were learning about the insects and plants, and, and to me that was the coolest thing ever. As a child, she came across a reference to the prestigious Yale University and decided she would one day attend. She fulfilled that aspiration in abundance when she earned two doctorates from Yale, one in sociology, the other in forestry and environmental studies. She was the first black woman ever to receive a PhD from the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, one of the top graduate schools in the world for the study of green and sustainability issues. Today, Dorsita is a highly acclaimed professor of environmental sociology at the University of Michigan. She is a towering intellectual and esteemed thought leader of the environmental movement. The breadth and depth of her research is astonishing. Her many scholarly interests include urban agriculture, food access and food insecurity, institutional diversity, green jobs, environmental history and ideology. She is also one of America's most influential and respected environmental justice scholars and activists. The environmental justice movement speaks to the concerns of people of color and the poor that the communities in which they live are targets for landfills, incinerators, and other toxic facilities. Dorsita's 2014 book, Toxic Communities, is a magnum opus of the environmental justice movement. In it, she examines the connections among residential segregation, zoning, and environmental hazards, and shows that many poor and minority neighborhoods are so beset by pollution that just living in them can be dangerous to a person's health. On top of all her other accomplishments, Dorsita is one of the foremost authorities on the gender and racial diversity of the environmental movement. Her landmark 2014 report, The State of Diversity in Environmental Organizations, speaks to the progress being made by the movement to become more inclusive and the progress still to be made. She surveyed more than 300 environmental organizations and found that women represent about 60% of new hires of these organizations and hold more than half of the senior staff positions. However, they remain underrepresented at the top one of the things my students and I are doing, we're, gonna, we're really tr gonna track salaries and look at gender differential in salaries because that's where we're gonna see some big differences. Her report also shows that blacks and other minorities are significantly underrepresented, accounting for 13% of the new hires and 12% of the paid staff. She believes environmental groups can become much stronger by reaching out to people of color, addressing their environmental concerns, and recruiting and training more minorities for their staffs. How do we today understand and make conservation both a mass movement, but something that everyone sees as very critical to their survival? She says, is just the idea that I might be here for a larger purpose, the question is, how do I open the door for other people? How can I use what I've learned to help others? We celebrate a woman who is one of the nation's most important and influential environmental scholars, who speaks with knowledge and passion about environmental justice and the impact of pollution on minority communities, who reminds all of us that the environmental movement can become more effective and by embracing the diversity of America. Dorsita Taylor.